there's so much drag in the car that uh, it almost feels like downforce, although ironically, this package has less downforce than what we traditionally race here, but the drag is so high that it just won't let the engine pull you through that kind of aerodynamic wall. And the, the biggest contributor to that is the rear bumper cover. Normally, um, it's cut up pretty high and it's uh, roughly two, two and a half feet off the ground. Now, it's only probably four to six inches off the ground. And all the air that comes out of the car is catching on that bumper cover and just stopping it. And it's also preventing the heat from pulling out from the car. So with that, um, I was a little surprised how different the car was by itself and very comfortable and stuck to being in traffic and how loose and out of control it was. And I, I first thought that it was the taller spoiler kicking the air up higher and punching a bigger hole. But our engineers are convinced that it's it has more to do with the uh, the tail section of the car ca capturing the air. There's just a big dead spot of air and nothing consistent flowing out of the cars to put air on the car behind. So uh, unfortunately, it's hard to simulate this stuff. Even in wind tunnels, uh, everything's really single car based. So I, I feel like NASCAR, you know, they're trying hard to create great racing and uh, clearly stepped out onto a limb to try to pull it off this weekend. And unfortunately, the limb is cracking. Uh, they were going to put on a great race and have a good show, but I think they'll probably make some changes to uh, the back of the car and try to figure out a different way to put drag in the race cars in, in this tail section. Thank you.